Tom, I think you've got to put that coffee cup down. It's really worrying me. Oh, do you think I'm going to... Uh, no, no, you put it down for God's sake. Oh, <laughs> this is my view of what I think creativity is. It's a quality of a relationship between two or more people who are in a common search for understanding or for meaning, perhaps. Um, I think it's the ability to, um, to enact and communicate significant difference. I mean, I never thought about it for probably the first, first 30 years. <laughs> you know, as, I, as I think, my research would show that most drummers don't think about it at all. You know, a lot of guys are highly creative. Nobody sits around backstage saying, gee, weren't we creative tonight? I got interested in the topic as I began to lose the will to play music. I thought, I'm not being very creative here. Why am I not being very creative? Until finally my limbs couldn't knock out a standard rock beat. Because my brain was saying, I can't hear any music here. Yeah. It's a bit scary, isn't it? I think drummers, <clears throat> whenever they play, are playing somewhere on a continuum uh, of, of control. They have a certain amount of control when they're playing, sometimes almost none because they're under severe direction. Sometimes complete control when you're um, performing as a solo artist uh, in a museum or something like Thomas Stronan does or in an arts performance space you're improvising on a drum kit. You're, uh, you are, of course, in total control. Somewhere between the two, there's, there's a sort of continuum you, and you tend to slide up and down that. So at nine o'clock in the morning at the, at the toothpaste commercial, you have uh, very little control, quite possibly. Uh, but at the originals band rehearsal in lunchtime, you know, you've got much more control because you're expected to be original. At the free jazz thing in the evening that you're doing, there's a lot of control. So you see how you're, you're moving up and down this, but knowing what is possible on the gig, very important, a great skill. I think drummers tend to prioritize making something work, making the music work, uh, over making it matter. To make it work, they tend to do something well. It's got, they've got to do something well, or do something better. That's making something work. They prioritise that over making it matter, i.e. making it new or different, significantly new or different, making it matter to other drummers, to other people, other musicians, for which creativity will absolutely be necessary. So drummers tend to make sure the music is working functionally first before they get fancy. So I think very little is expected of drummers. I think that's a shame. I think drummers can do a lot more than is expected of them. You know, oh, drums, just do, yes, just give us the basic beat. Yeah, make it steady. Okay, guys, ready. You see what I mean? They're misunderstood. They're misunderstood by the audience. They're misunderstood by their colleagues on stage. They're misunderstood by producers who expect rather little. And a, a lot of that has to do with the history of drumming. I'll see you later.